Hello everybody and uh, welcome to your 47th VBA 2010 tutorial and um, this is going to be part of a two part tutorial on list boxes. So the first tutorial is going to show you the basics of how to use them and then the next tutorial is going to just show you uh, a little kind of example of, of how they can be used. So let's create our user form and uh, then we just want our toolbox, view toolbox, and we just want to put a list box on here. So the list box is over here, and we just want to put that in like that. And it kind of looks like a text box, um, but what it's going to do is in the middle of it, it's going to store a list of values. So if I go into my spreadsheet, oh, um, then we, I've just got a list of uh, cooking ingredients here um, going from A1 through to A20 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go to my row source and I'm just going to write sheet 1 exclamation mark A1 to A20 and then you'll notice that it's filled in this list box with a list of all the um, different ingredients. Uh, you can make it smaller than the list and then you'll notice that it gets a scroll bar on it at the side and you can just scroll up and down between them. So don't worry about trying to fit everything in. Um, on this instance I'm going to just because I want to. And uh, then so that is our list box then and then I just want to um, put in here I want to have list box one but I want it on double click it's going to be my event that I want to use uh, and so when you double click it this is going to come up with a message box going you have selected And then ampersand uh, list box one dot we don't want this book we want user form one dot list box one dot value so this is just gonna whenever you double click on one of the things it just tells you what you've selected so let's just show you how this works so double click on haddock, you have selected haddock, you have selected lobster. So that's how you take the value out of a list box. Um, you can also, you can set, you can change the row source within your code. So let's say in our code, um, we didn't want to do it in there, we want to change the row source, so this word, but uh, no. User form one dot list box one dot row source, and we can actually change our row source in here. So sheet one exclamation mark, and then just put a one to a ten. So to start off with, it's going to have all of them, and then when we double click on one, it's not going to like it. And there we go. And it's going to cut off all the others then. So it may not be very useful in that instance, but in the next tutorial, I'm going to sh give you a better example of of how you're going to use that row source, and then how you're going to you can use list boxes. But as a basics, that's how you set up your list box. Just remember to use your row source and put it in as the same way you would normally put in a reference to a range. And it will just fill it in all in for you. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, uh, we'll get a little bit more advanced.